Hi, it's Melissa and I have another layout today for Click Kits and I'm still working my way through the beautiful Rio kit, which is our August kit. And here's a look at my layout. I got some new paints from close to my heart. My friend is a consultant and they're watercolours and they're really beautiful. I've waited a long time to get a good set of watercolours so I was really excited to use them. Now this is one of the exclusive die cuts that comes with the August kit. And so what I did was use my sketch pen attachment, or my pen attachment for my silhouette, and I decided where I wanted to place this on the page, and rotated it to how I wanted it, and then I got my silhouette to sketch it out in silver pen. And I took it to my friend's place to stitch it, and we have a crop, and we used to try and meet monthly, but we've been meeting a bit more regularly lately. And I was eating some chocolate, as you do, late at night when you're scrapbooking. And I got a little smudge of chocolate on this page. But in the end it worked out better. So I decided rather than cover up the little chocolate smudge with an embellishment, because it was at the bottom of the page, I would cut this out and it would enable me to um, position it in a different way, in a way that I really wanted and to make my photo more integrated into the layout. So I, um, I'm certainly no watercolour expert and this was the first time for me using these paints. I didn't even really practice, I just went for it and I had downloaded a um, photo of a flower that was quite similar and I just decided to concentrate the colour on the edges of the leaves and then with the flower I made sure it was darker in the middle and kind of pulled it out to the edge. So I didn't film that process because, like I say, I'm not an expert and I didn't know if this was even going to turn out or how it was going to look. But I'm actually really happy with it, so I was pleasantly surprised. And I know that the more I do it, I will get better, I hope. So here was my plan, which was to tuck my photo over the top of the petals and then have the leaves going over the top. So I used that, um, it's white with little black hearts on it and it comes from the cut apart sheet and I did, I'll be honest, have a little bit of a hard time making a call on whether to use that B side of the cut apart. But when I look at the cut apart, the one that I really, really wanted to keep was the one that said home is where your girls are. And so I made sure I had that one um, separate from what the piece that I cut. So here I'm using the, it's the Million June collection, I should have said, um, it's one of the featured collections. The other one is Cocoa Vanilla. I think it's Colour Me Happy. But I bought the 6x6 paper pad as an add-on to the kit and I'm so glad I did because I'm getting so many layouts made. And so I just went through and selected a couple of patterns to back my photo. I just needed something to um, to make that photo bigger or to make the square bigger so that it wouldn't have the leaves going onto her face as much. So it took a bit of deciding. I did consider this one but it was too busy. thought about the black one but in the end I went with the pink one and then this, um, this kind of, I think it's got yellow and blue on it. I can't even remember and I can't see it that well. But it's very neutral and I thought it worked well with uh, my photo. So my photo is of Azaria and I looked back through my photos on my computer and I took this photo on the 1st of January of this year. So um, I wasn't that happy with the um, tone of the photo. I hadn't edited it but I'd already printed it and I decided, you know, I'm getting better at my photography now and I'm getting better at editing but this is where I was at at the time and I, I love the photo although she came and had a look and was a bit concerned about her teeth but you know that's part of documenting the story is you lose your teeth and eventually they grow back when you're six nearly seven and I do, it is a really sweet photo so I needed something else just to separate it here and thought about some vellum but I had this glassine bag just floating around on my desk and I like the um, the way it acts like tissue paper or vellum, it just gives some separation between the layers and my flower. So here I'm 
just I put a little bit of glue, not glue, double-sided tape just on the bit of the glassine bag so I could put it over the petal. And now I'm just going to town with lots of double-sided tape. Just wanting to position that um, that pattern paper, and like I said, it's the white with the hearts on it. And I just put that in because ordinarily I probably wouldn't. I'd just go for plain white background with the flower, but I needed something a little bit different and something to provide some interest and break up the very white background. So then I um, I found the fancy pants papers were the 12 by 12s were slightly shorter than the American Crafts white cardstock, so I just trimmed it off. And then I took it over to my sewing machine. And to be honest, I'm having a hard time with my sewing machine. It's really not defining the stitches. I'm not sure why. It was perfectly fine. Um, I didn't do anything with it. I didn't change anything. And then it just looks like the stitches all run into one. So if anyone's got any advice, is it a tension issue? Because um, I like to have the longest stitch, and I like to see separation between stitches, so you can actually see each stitch. So I don't know if it's because my thread is quite thin, and generally I prefer a thicker thread, but I'm wanting to use up what I've got at the moment. So leave me a comment below if you have any advice on this. Before I throw it out the window, well, I wouldn't really do that, but that's how I feel. So I put my adhesive and my double-sided tape around the petals, and then I'm just using these dimensionals to pop up the edges, and the leaves were naturally popping up from um, being cut, fussy cut, and being painted. And then I just put a couple on the leaves, which were also curling up. And I like the way that extra dimension looks. So just finishing up there, making sure it looks okay. Um, Azaria was delighted when she saw the flower. She was so excited when I stitched it, and I told her it was for her. And then when I finished colouring it, she was just so excited by it. So, you know, I know it's not perfect, it's not that great. I've got a lot to learn about watercolours, but I'm happy with how this is turning out. So these are the enamel stickers, and I love them so much. And here is how I keep my um, bits and pieces from the kit that are smaller, the embellishments and ephemera and things. I knew I wanted to put one of the flare in the middle. thought about that kiwi fruit because I thought it looked quite good in the centre of the flower, but you'll see that I'll change it out soon. And I wanted to go with one of the Clip Kits exclusive flares because they're smaller than the Fancy Pants ones. So these are the washi tape from Predator Studio. And they're beautiful. And I just want a, a little hint of the hearts just peeking out from under the flower there. So here is where I've switched out the flare. And... Um, yeah, sorry about that. I, I wanted you to see my embellishment, but also so you could see my thought process. So that's why I've pulled the layout back down. And I've just adhered that with some Tombow. So I wanted to call this layout My Girl because the enamel or puffy stickers, the kind of cross between enamel and puffy, it had both of those words on there. And the stickers that come with the kit are the ones from the collection as well from Fancy Pants but the blue really wasn't going to work with the colour that I've painted this flower so I had a bit of trouble deciding where to put the title and I've cut out some of my fussing around and you'll see me um, kind of give up here and move on to putting this little bow together. So the kit came with one sheet of these bows and I was so so super excited to get the white and gold because I love gold and so you just assemble it, and it's three pieces. I've sped it up because it's you know it's pretty easy to do. And I've just used glue dots to adhere and a bit of Tombow. And I'm going to put it at the top, and you can't see it at the moment, but when I pull the layout down to adhere everything, you'll see. So I've gone back to this uh, sticker sheet, and they had these kind of they're like uneven stars, and so I just scattered three of them around the page. And now I've come back to my title. And I actually cut it off the backing sheet and kept the backing sheet on because I knew that I was going to struggle with where I put this. So I decided to put the title, or the my word, part of the title, on the photo and then kind of unevenly place girl 
underneath the leaf. And so they're close enough together that you can read them as one entity. So off camera, I had, I've got, um, when I made this layout today, I had my daughter and her friend were here, and I also had Brielle. Um, they had school skiing today, and the friend came home with us, and Sam was still um, skiing up Remarkables at this point, so it was just me and the girls, but got interrupted by them, probably wanting food or something. And so what I did off camera, I just went through the Cocoa Vanilla Studio. I got the pack of cut aparts and I just cut apart three phrases that I thought went really well with um, with my photo and also with my journaling. So I added the cupcake because she loves to bake and she loves cake, which is funny because I craved cakes and biscuits when I was pregnant with her and um, she loves them. So then I wanted to add some hearts and I think I forgot to say that I added a heart in the middle of the bow and then I've added a couple more as well. So I wanted to have something near the leaf up there so I've just added that heart, just a die cut heart and now I'm adding my journaling and so what I'm journaling about is that it's a new year and I'm looking forward to what the year has for her because she's moved up from the junior room at school to the middlers, and so this year she's a middler, which they all love to say when they're in that class. And I wrote it like a letter to her. So my final touch was to add some sequins, and I've got these new Close to My Heart tweezers, which I'm absolutely loving. So I'm showing you here the position, but I'm not going to show you the gluing, because it's really, you know, it's like watching paint dry or watching glue dry. It's not that exciting. So that is my final layout. I hope you enjoyed and um, I'll be back again tomorrow I think with another layout. Take care.